Story number one. Fifty years ago, I lived on the Korean DMZ. Image one. You're looking at Corporal Chung Mo Young posing on a bridge with Private Pagliano. Pagliano and I went to truck driving school at Fort Dix, New Jersey, just prior to arriving in Korea. Pagliano ended up being the company commander's official driver. He was a lot of fun. Corporal Chung, well, I can't imagine how difficult it was for a Korean-born 19-year-old man to be working every day with foreign soldiers living in their country. But all of the Katusas I served with were chosen well. There will be more stories about Corporal Chung later. He is called a Katusa, which stands for Korean Augmentation to the United States Army. He is a U.S. soldier selected from many volunteers that report to our commanders rather than the Korean Army commanders. Their job is to acclimate U.S. soldiers to the language, customs, and lifestyle of the Korean people. They also speak very good English, so they help translating when we need help or directions and cannot communicate because of the language barrier. During the Korean War from 1950 to 1953, General MacArthur began this project. 43,660 Katusa soldiers fought for South Korea and the United States. Of these soldiers, 11,000 365 went missing or were killed in action. Since these 11,365 men were fighting right along with the Americans on patrols of defending the cities and towns, that means 11,365 American lives were spared because of the sacrifices of these men. The Katusa program is alive and well today. Image 3 shows Katusa, Corporal Song, Pagliano, Mel Law, and Katusa Corporal Chung Mo Young in the top row. More about the men in the picture in future stories. I'll be able to cover all of them. So stay close to me as we journey in future stories of what it was like to serve in South Korea and on the DMZ 50 years ago. Talented author Bob Kern just finished a book titled We Were Soldiers Too, The Second Korean War, The DMZ Conflict. You will find my story and many great stories in here from other soldiers' first-hand accounts. Stories that you never would have read in any of the newspapers back home during the time of the conflict. These are stories of the Korean DMZ. Look below this video and you will find a direct link to Bob Kern's wonderful books.